Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'd like to present a brief interview with the new manager at the Beverly Regional Airport. And I'm going to call Beverly BBY because that's their sign. And today I, oh, well, last week I interviewed Gabriel Hannafin, who is the current airport manager. He has been hired since uh, June 5th, I believe. And he can be reached at the airport, and I will provide a calling card on this uh, program. But at first, I wanted to give you an idea of why I did the interview. The Airport Commission, Beverly Airport Commission, who has supposedly uh, one member of the Danvers appointments and one is a vacancy, but they have conducted a meeting last two months with the airport manager present. What I wanted to do is give you a little bit of an insight into who the individual is, what he has done in the past, and what's he going to do for the Beverly Airport, because as we all know, Beverly Airport is there and it will be there forever. However, we need to live coexisting together because the airport does provide economic services to the communities. And the airport is really part of Beverly, Wenham, and Danvers. Danvers has two commissioners on board that's supposed to be on board. Currently, we have Aaron Henry. And we're waiting for the Board of Selectmen to come up with the next candidate to go and represent the, the town of Danvers. Now, my mission on this interview was to give you a flavor of who the individual is, what he has done in the past, and who is he. So please listen to the interview, and at the end, I'll give you a little bit of a summary. Thank you very much. Okay, Gabe, the next uh, question that I have is what are your first impressions of the area and all the very extensive mm -hmm. and I was just wondering what your thoughts are. Yeah, we're absolutely loving it up here. Uh, coming from Illinois, uh, Quincy is a town of about 40,000 step out of city limits of Quincy, Illinois, it's cornfields for as far as you can see. So um, topography and ge geography out here is completely different um, and there's just a ton to do out here uh, which we're loving all of the uh, uh, different activities and adventures we can go on. Um, we love that you know if we want to go spend a day on the beach we can drive 30 minutes and uh, be on a beach. If we want to go hiking in the woods, we can uh, go up north and go find some trails and uh, not kind of away from civilization. And if we want to go spend uh, an evening in the city center Boston, we have that too within commuting distance. Uh, and then just even right here on the, on the North Shore, so many wonderful restaurants and shopping, um, parks, we're loving it. And uh, the people here have been uh, extremely kind and welcoming, which has been uh, really nice. Coming here, we uh, have no family out here, we know nobody, so it's been, um, it, it, it helps a lot to be surrounded by a community that is uh, so welcoming and kind. The one thing that has 
that um, the biggest adjustment is driving out here. <laughs> uh, we're used to, you know, the kind of slow going Midwestern driving. Uh, it's a whole different world out here. We're, we're slowly adjusting to it and slowly learning how to uh, survive out on the highways, especially 128 in the morning. It's New England courtesy. Yes. Every man for himself. Correct. All right. Mr. Hannafin, one of the issues that I have been struggling with is what I of the job itself at the airport and how are you going to be able to improve the community relations, the uh, vendor relations, the school relations, and the airport in itself is here mm -hmm. and we need to peacefully coexist. Of course. So. Yeah, so far I'm, I'm loving the job. I think this is a, a great airport. There's great people here and great people surrounding the airport. Um, I, first and foremost, it's key to me. Um, and so I see my number one priority and objective uh, in the job is to build communication, whether that's between uh, my office and our neighbors outside the fence, or my office and the tenants inside the fence. I, uh, I made it quite well known, and I'll continue to make it well known, that I have an open door policy. My office is always open. My phone is always on. Um, I'm happy to talk and take questions and listen to, uh, to uh, anyone that, uh, that has any concerns or questions. I think that is um, really important, and I've, my first impression has been that um, th that's the, uh, the the most important thing, and what lots of people are looking for out of airport administration right now. Um, aside from that, I also see um, out on the airfield. I see um, a thriving airport. I see an airport that lots of private entities have taken great interest in and um, have developed. And I see some infrastructure that needs some help to, uh, to uh, better support not only those, uh, that development on the airport, but to also um, improve, uh, improve our standing within the community. So I, I see some great opportunities for airport administration to, uh, to really lift up the infrastructure out here um, to really meet that quality of, uh, of service um, and to meet the, uh, the, the quality that people ought to expect from an airport of our size. Can you give us an example of what the infrastructure items that you're thinking of? Of course. So, uh, number one, I spoke at the, about this um, on Monday night's meeting uh, was perimeter fencing. The, the, I, I see a need for the fence, and at least big uh, chunks of the fence to be replaced um, to keep some wildlife out. Um, and then there's some um, you know, a few pavement issues I've noticed, uh, emergency generator, um, uh, some lighting and approach lighting systems, just little things like that that need some help that I, I think has been, um, the, the, that some help that's long overdue. Um, some, I also, some equipment that I'd like to replace. Um, so little things like that, that I think could go a long way in, um, in improving uh, what this airport is able to do for our uh, customers and really all stakeholders. And our communities. And communities, yeah. My next question is basically to sort of get a feel of what your impression is of the current noise committee efforts and the good neighbor policy because that's going to be a document that will influence how the operations at the airport go, how the uh, 
neighbors will react to it. So that's something that we'll be uh, looking at. And I was hoping to see what kind of an impression you have had. Yeah, of course. I had the privilege of uh, being included and sitting in on one of the noise subcommittee remote meetings. And I was uh, very impressed with the work that they were doing. Very motivated uh, to really creating a document that is beneficial for everyone, for all stakeholders, um, both neighbors and users of the airport. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited and uh, eager to get that document uh, finalized and out to the public to give our neighbors a chance to uh, give us some outreach on it and give us some um, input on, on the document. Um, and re really start that process of communication and working together to make sure that it's implemented in a, uh, in a way that benefits all involved. To establish relationships Correct. with the neighbors because they are the oppressed ones right now because they haven't been involved in some of the decisions. That's certainly very important to me about this document as I see it as a, a great way to uh, really build those relationships and start those conversations. Very good. Uh, Gabe, if I may call mm -hmm. you Gabe. Of course. Uh, I've been calling you Mr. Hannafin and what I have uh, determined is that you're one of us right now, so uh, what I'm hoping to see is uh, good management coming from this airport and it seems like the Commission has uh, revived their interest in the operations of the airport, so that'll be a complimentary effort. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, make sure that you're welcome and happy at this position because it's a thankless job and as you know it. So thank you very much you. for uh, speaking with us. Now Mark Zuberich back again and this is more of a summary of what I've been able to find out from this particular interview. Is that the gentleman that we are talking about is Gabriel Hannafin. He is our current, our, meaning Beverly, Wenham, and Danvers, airport manager. He has had a, some experience in the past but he's also comes across as a manager. And one of the issues that we have had with the airport commission is that they do not listen to the general public who are being affected by the noise and the environmental issues that are coming from Beverly Airport. So just to give you a summary the gentleman is well qualified and I think he'll develop into one of the better managers that this airport has had, but we need to wait and see. But the thing is, it's promising. So thank you for watching and hope to see you at the next Beverly Airport meeting, which is going to be held on August 14th, and it'll be held at the airport conference room, uh, and uh, it'll be at 6 p.m., and I'll be there with my camera again. So thank you for watching, and look out for what's going to happen at Beverly Airport. Thank you.